Hello and welcome to another AIC video. Uh, I wanted to do a follow-up video on my 8-inch uh, AliExpress uh, tablet, laptop, microcomputer thing. I um, wanted to kind of go over some of my thoughts on it and play some games on it since I think that's what people are most interested in for something like this. A uh, couple things about it is I did uh, do one thing is I did go ahead and repaste the CPU. Um, I have some Noctua stuff that I bought. And the reason why I did that is I was hoping to lower the temperatures. The CPU when pushed actually doesn't get that hot, uh, but the fan in here does not move a lot of air and the case, especially the bottom of the case, um, gets very, very warm and actually becomes pretty uncomfortable to touch because of how much um, heat transfers from the uh, CPU into the case. It is an all aluminum case and kind of acts like an additional heat sink for the system. So that's one thing. Um, I don't know if that helped much. Uh, it did kind of feel a little bit cooler to the touch, but I also wasn't pushing as hard. So that's something to keep in mind. If you're going to be using this for gaming or whatever, um, you're going to want to not be doing something that you are then holding the device uh, when you're playing those games. Next thing I want to talk about is the pointing device. So on here, you have this little nubbin thing which when I got this, I'm like, oh man, it's so much like this old uh, Samsung, was this a SCH i770. Um, it's exactly the same thing, except for this is actually better, even though this device is now what, 15 years old? Uh, this is a better pointing device because it does two things. One, it clicks, and two, it's bigger, significantly bigger, in fact, this spot down here I think is a big enough hole that it would actually fit this device in here but instead we have this tiny little one now you can tap it to kind of click but you don't really know when you've clicked um, so you're always going to use the uh, right left mouse buttons I don't know it seems like it would have been better if that was a little bit larger another thing to consider with this because it is such a small device obviously there's compromises with the keyboard one of the ones that I didn't think would be such a big deal was the location of the WASD. Um, I have my Lenovo keyboard here, which is exactly what you get on like most ThinkPads currently. And you see that the W is almost directly over the S. And so that kind of gives you um, even spacing where you put your fingers. But on here, you can see that W is almost perfectly over the A and not the S. And so if you're doing anything that requires you to use the keyboard, your fingers are going to be very off-centered. And that up and down or forward and back is very off-centered. And um, I keep hitting the wrong keys. I keep hitting E instead of W. And you could probably reset those key bindings in whatever game you're playing. Um, just, but just out of the box, it is something that was frustrating and annoying to me. But let's go ahead and turn it on. And see what we can do from there. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is look at the CPU-Z. Zoom in a little bit on that. We do have the Intel N100. It's an Alder Lake CPU. Uh, socket uh, 1744. It's a ball, uh, ball grid array, so VGA. 10 nanometer. Um, for the main board, it's just generic information. Um, bus spec PCI Express 3.0, Alder Lake, uh, American Megatrends. I don't know if there's a BIOS update for this. I doubt it. It does have 12 gigabytes of DDR5 memory. So there is that. Let me zoom back out again. All right, so what we're going to do now, oh, too far, a little bit too far. All right, so what we're not going to do now is we're going to leave up the CPU hardware monitor and we are going to run a benchmark.
right, so we have our final result here. And uh, zoom in a little bit. You can see that the score is not great. Uh, CPU is actually pretty decent, but the 2D and 3D graphics are very meh. Um, the memory is average, uh, but the disk mark is really pretty terrible. Um, I am running um, a cheap SSD on here. Maybe a better SSD will get us a better score, but it won't affect the CPU or the graphics performances. All right, and we'll keep this up on the screen here, uh, but uh, you can see that the temperature maxed out at about 60, uh, 66 degrees, 65 degrees. So, um, didn't get overall too hot, but if you, again, if you touch the case, it is pretty darn warm. And when we go to do some gaming, it will only get worse. So what I'd like to do now is go ahead and actually open up a game. We will play Minecraft. When I say play, I mean play. All right. So I went ahead, got it to this point. Um, you didn't want to wait through the other part I'll go ahead and create a new world just so you can see how long it takes to kind of load up here we'll call it new world 2 create new world now the resolution of the screen is a 1280 by 800 so it's kind of an odd resolution for a computer a laptop of course the screen is very reflective and you see me very well in that background I have a controller plugged in, so let me see if I can get that to work. No. Okay. Turn the volume up on here. So if that has any music it wants to play or any sound effects, turn that up so you can hear that. Now, as far as video settings, to get this to even be playable, So I had to drop the render distance down um, quite a bit and change the graphics to fancy, or uh, not fr from fancy to uh, fast. And it's playable, you're getting um, we're getting in the 80s frames per second, but if you have to draw a new chunk at all, that drop, you know, see, you get frame drops down to the single digit frames, which can be pretty annoying when you're playing for it to keep freezing up on you. But I mean, if you just wanted a basic, basic system to play on, it does play, it is kind of slow, it is kind of, uh, those low frame rate hits are pretty painful uh, when you get them. Go ahead and check the temperatures. So we're still just at 66 degrees on the CPU. So, um, uh, I did, I did repaste this and it did drop the temperatures down. So when I was doing this yesterday with the, um, factory thermal paste I was hitting 71 72 degrees so I've knocked off what five degrees ish by putting on a thermal paste a better thermal paste so let's go ahead and load up another game here we'll do Rocket League all right 
right, so got Rocket League loaded up. And play. I'm really bad at Rocket League, so uh, um, please forgive me. Um, let's see if we can get into a game in a reasonable amount of time. Oh, wow. Now the settings on this are pretty darn low, um, so but it, it's playable. It definitely falls under that playable category. game all right and we'll play something else now all right but actually before we close out of it uh, I'll just show you what it shows for oh, I keep trying to scroll on the wrong screen um, so we have a resolution we have the native resolution at 1280 by 800 full screen it says anti-aliasing off render quality high quality Render detail custom, frame per second, 60 FPS max, high performance. So it says that these are pretty high quality details, but I don't know if I necessarily trust that um, on there. But we'll go ahead and close out and play another game. All right, so we have uh, Fortnite loaded up here. Let's look at our settings, if I remember where that's at. Um, So we're running at native resolution, windows full screen, VSync is off, uh, DirectX 11, uh, brightness 100%, auto set, all quality presets are down low. So we have it set pretty low here, but we'll go ahead and we will play. Give it a second to match make. I think I could play this with a controller. As you can see, this is no bueno. It's getting a little bit better as it kind of loads stuff in, but we're definitely hitting those low frame rates. I would not want to play this game in any competitive fashion at all.
trying to go to this truck to see if I could uh, drive it. I, I wouldn't I would not buy this um, to play this game. I have mm, computers with like an eighth gen Core i5 that plays this so much better. That's still terrible, but it's so much better than this, and it costs half as much money, right? So, but it's bigger, it's heavier, so. But the biggest problem, like right now things are fine, but if I ever, I'm trying to you know, make it as much fun to see if I can find somebody to go after me. But the bigger problem is as soon as you have any other people on the screen, like the performance just goes to absolute herd. And so, it's just bad. Somebody's shooting at me, I think. You have a lot of latency in here. You have a lot of frame rates down in the, you know, low, double, even single digits. So, all right, let's go ahead and move on to the next game. All right, so we're going to play Fall Guys as our final game uh, for testing. Um, and this actually when I played it previously, it seemed to run really well on here. So hopefully it continues to run pretty good on here. So let's go down to play, solos. Now, through the screen, there's a little fuzziness. Um, I don't see any of that on my end. It looks, this is actually a really nice crisp screen. It's nice and bright. Uh, I do like the screen on this a lot. I wish it wasn't uh, so reflective, but I understand why being a touchscreen and everything. So. Now I'm going to be terrible at this because I haven't played since they've changed some of the maps again. So my kids have gotten pretty good at it, but I'm I'm still pretty awful. Frame rate, this is good. I don't get those huge drop offs like I was getting on uh, um, Fortnite. I'm not getting the big drags of latency. So, trying to do this around the screen is so much fun. Hey, I actually qualified. That is very surprising for me. Qualified pretty high up too. Alright, I'm in the top 
fifty percent. Nice. I'm not talking much while I'm playing because I'm actually doing pretty alright. <laughs> You're gonna have to watch me play this a little bit longer. <laughs> but as I'm waiting for this to finish up, um, this is really interesting machine. Um, I don't know. If I, if I would buy this for my everyday use, um, I'm sure this has specific uses for some people. One thing is, is it's not quite pocketable. There are a couple pairs of my pants. I could just barely shove it in a pocket. Um, so if you really just needed something super compact, maybe you're using it for some personal media uh, that you wanted more than just your phone for, it might be worth getting. Um, I definitely think there's better options out there cheaper if you're looking to buy something um, and you're willing to buy something used, like a used ThinkPad, an X series, like an X270, X280. Obviously it's going to be bigger, not necessarily heavier, um, but it's going to be a lot more functional. Um, even my X280 is a touch screen, so you know, it just... Um, So, you know, you're not even missing out on that aspect of it. So, you know, the sound quality is pretty decent. It does have a touchscreen that twists. So you can treat it like a tablet. Um, it's just a really interesting machine. So if you have any questions about it, if there's something else you'd like to see on it, uh, I keep getting requests for games I don't personally own and pretty obscure games at that. I'm not gonna buy those. One person asked about a game that was like $70. I've never heard of before. That's a hard pass for me. So anyways, if you have any thoughts, comments, questions, leave those down below. Thank you for watching. Hope you have an amazing day.